Hi, welcome to the fifth video on Power Query. My name is Rick de Groot and I'm the blogger behind ExcelGorilla.com, a blog designed to share tips and tricks for you to advance with Power BI and Excel. And in today's video, I would like to talk about producing combinations. I want to talk about what you can do in Power Query to get all possible data combinations that are out there. And there's some tricks for that. Now let's get to it. So before I'm going to show you how you can make all possible combinations with the different uh, columns of data that you have, what, is it, what was actually the idea behind this? Well, I had a client that was making a sales report for his different business units. Those business units were located in several countries and they were measured on different metrics. And the data came from several pivot tables that were connect, connected to a, a cube in the background. And in this report, they didn't want to use the pivot tables directly, but they used get pivot data formulas to get the right answers. And to use these formulas, it had to refer to the country, to the business unit, to what currency it had, the metrics. So to make the report get to a right total, the client really needed to have all combinations of data there were. So that's a little bit background behind it. I will now show you two different methods on how to do it with Power Query. The data that you see is uh, shown on the worksheet here. It contains three tables. The first table is called countries, currencies uh, with the country and currency data. The second one is called business units. And the third one is called metrics. Now let's get these into Power Query. We're going to data, front table slash range. And my default setting is to connect something as a connection only, to load it as a connection only. So I can just press close and load up here but you might have to change that setting on your computer. You might have to go yourself to close and load to, and then select only create connection. Check that out for your screen. And then we go for the last one from table slash range until everything is in Power Query. Now let's get back into Power Query. So we see that all the three tables are now imported into Power Query. And what I would like to see is all the possible combinations of data from these three queries. And to do that, the first method is making use of a helper column. Go to add columns, custom column. For easiness, we call it join, and the formula is just number one. This column we're gonna be using to join the other queries. Do the same in the other queries. Just so call a column join, press one. And the last one, we're gonna add a column as well. We call it join with the value of one. Now to get the first combinations of the business units, I'm gonna merge my data by going to the column home, click merge queries, find business units, which is the second query. And I'm gonna join these two columns. And from my join kind, I'm gonna click the full outer join. It's gonna be using the two columns that I just selected. And then the operation it will do is it will return all the rows from both whether they match or not. So I click OK. You get a table object now in a new column. And the good thing about those is that you can expand them on the top here. Don't select the join column and take the prefix away. And there we go. The first thing it did was it shows all combinations we have from the starting out query, the four countries, and the four different business units that we have. So you can see that we have a total of 16 rows now because four times four, 16, obviously. And to get all the data from metrics, we can just merge it again. So this time we're gonna merge with metrics, join the two columns and click a full auto join. Then we expand the table again, remove the column called join and what you will see is that we have 64 rows of data. Now that's all quite good. And in fact, that is all the combinations that we have. Because when you think about it, this query started out with four rows. This one has four and this one has four as well. And that makes for a, uh, a total amount of unique combinations of four times four times four is 64. All right. Now, to get started again, but then with the other query, we're going to go back to the part where it only imported the tables and nothing else. So 
So as you can see, this was the starting position with no helper columns added. And this second method is actually my preferred one. It's a little trick that you use and we're, I'll show you how this works. And again, we're going to do it by adding a column, but it's going to not need to have helper columns. So with this method, we're going to skip a few steps and it will be quicker. So get started again with the country and currencies query, add a custom column. And in the formula bar, you're going to add the name of the query that you want to refer. So in this case, let's start with business units and call it merge business units. No syntax errors, press OK. Then let's do the same for the metrics column. So we're going to call this new column merge metrics. And we say the formula is equal to metrics. And now we have both columns added with table objects again. And if you click up here again, make sure you don't select the prefix. Press OK and select the last tab. Expand the tables, press OK, and again we end up with 64 rows. You might want to change these to change type text. And now if we say we can load, close and load two, we can load it to the worksheet, two cells out there. And what we have done is we've created a table with all the combinations that were out there if we started out with these three tables. Now, perhaps you feel 64 combinations, I can handle that manually. But now imagine you're not looking at business units, but you're looking at different brands. And perhaps you might have over 100 brands. And if you would have 100 brands, then you would have 100 times 4 times 4. So you would have 1600 different combinations. And I doubt you're going to do your data transformations by hand then. So in this video, you've seen two methods to create all the unique combinations of the items from three different tables. You can find a written post on this topic by following the link in the description below, and it will lead you to my blog page. Now, if you like this video, do make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'd love to hear your reaction to today's video. Do you know more methods to produce all unique combinations with Power Query? Is there perhaps an easier way? I'd love to hear your input on that in the comments below. I hope you're doing okay, and I look forward to having you back for the next video.